Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Join us each and every week as we travel across the Midwest filming 52 new hunting and fishing shows a year. Sponsored by Bartline Barrels, Green Bay Trophy Fishing, Karsten, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Delco, Guillotine, Kamik Law Offices, Comalong, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supply, Norm's A, Vexlar, Warrior Boats, Wings Over Wisconsin, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. like it when a guy tells me he's got a good feeling about how good the fishing's going to be today. We've been doing pretty good. I got this Shiloh 15 pounder yesterday. So That's a big fish. Still ain't caught a walleye, but I know they're roaming around too, so. Hey, Cindy baked you a cake. Would you like to have a piece? Here. <laughs> it looks like you, you, you were just so you know, the funny it? thing was that Hunter said, he's like, I wonder if Brian Claremont will have any food for us. I'm like, you know what? I've never seen Brian Claremont not have any food, but I didn't hear him say anything about Hunter. Hey, it's not fresh. I didn't get to smoke that yet, but I got some smoked fish for today, too. Ooh. He's the man. Ain't that mm. cake good? Oh, mm. I got the best cook in the world. You do. <laughs> you got a good wife. You might have to wash that cake down too. Oh man, look at this! No. <laughs> mm, are we? Are we even going fishing today? Darn right we are. I'm gonna check the ice out here just to make sure it, it doesn't change since yesterday. You can see I got a little channel dug out, and you can see the drag marks where I've been dragging a boat. And that's because I'm a nut, and we can't get at the walleyes yet. And I always start out the year catching these browns, and it's a lot of fun. You're gonna see today. Hopefully, you get some big ones. This is all pretty solid right here. Just gotta watch this crack. See it's starting to get. And it froze up a little bit yesterday. And this is as far as I'm going. I'm getting the rest of the way. It looks like we're good. Look at this. It's Tyson coming to save you. What's what the heck is that? What do you mean it's a kayak? I took it out uh, anyhow, yesterday, that's when Brian first saw it. It's, uh, it's an awesome little awesome little unit. And you guys sell these over at the shop there, huh? We do, we got like 40 different kayaks in stock. Holy cats, hey, if somebody wants to check one out, who do they need to talk to and where do they need to go? Uh, you can contact me or Zach at Windrose North Bait and Tackle or Windrose North Outfitters, 427 10th Avenue, downtown Menominee, Michigan. That's uh, awesome. Yeah, phone number is 906-424-0206. Hey, and the other thing, Tyson, let's talk a little bit about this because I'm going to be up here for the next month yeah. fishing, and there's going to be a lot of people here fishing. Tell them about the bait shop you also have there. Yeah, we uh, we opened a brand new bait and tackle store in, uh, in Menominee there, and we've only been open for about seven months, so all brand new stuff. We are well equipped, well stocked up for the, white, or, uh, for the walleyes this year. Um, anything from trolling that Brian loves to do and vertical jigging. Uh, we got it all covered. And you got plenty of live bait. Yep, we got a lot coming too. A lot what, more. What time are you guys opening that? Open at 6 a.m. till 5 on the week or uh, during the week and then 6 to 3 during the weekend. Absolutely perfect. I'm getting there. Are you liking it? It's not bad. <laughs> you, you'll get better. Hey, you're getting a workout, you won't have to go to the gym this week. That's true. <laughs> Just no sudden uh, give you moves. <laughs> this week on Larry Smith Outdoors, we are up on the Menominee River with our good friend Brian Claremont, and we're actually gonna do a little brown trout fishing. We got an awesome day, light winds, sun, perfect conditions according to Mr. Claremont. What do you think, Brian? I think we're gonna have some fun today, Larry. I like having fun. So stay tuned, let's see what happens this week on Larry Smith Outdoors.
creating a fishing boat that delivers unsurpassed fishability, speed, and performance on the water is achieved through an ongoing commitment to quality and a driving passion for making great boats even better. You'll see this commitment to quality and a passion for building the fisherman's boat in every Warrior Boat model you see on the water. For additional information on Warrior Boat's new V208, check out their website at warriorboatsinc.com or visit your local Warrior Boats dealer to schedule a test drive and see for yourself why no fishing boat on the market offers a smoother, drier ride, more interior cockpit space, more storage, more room to fish big water in complete comfort and safety than the V208 from Warrior Boats. So basically what we're doing here is we're actually jigging that bait. We're constantly jigging it back and forth. So you're speeding it up, slowing it down. That's what I, I feel makes the big difference versus just holding it straight like that. You're putting a lot of action into that bait. It's going back and forth. And again, the speed is going you know, slower, faster, slower, faster. And it seems like about 90% of the fish will hit it when you're actually dropping it back what you're getting is this. Bait swimming like that, and when you, you jerk it, it goes sideways. Yep. Huh? Like that. And that's what you want. That's what triggers them right yep. there. Exactly. <laughs> Woo, look at the size of that brown trout. <laughs> Beckman. I got him. Nice job, nice job. Woo Finally. Wow. That look at the size of this fish. You know, Brian, that's one thing about you. We never give up. And you know, we've been out here for about three or four hours working hard. And this is the first fish that we've actually seen caught. And uh, it's a beaut for sure. I want to make sure we get him in the... Hey, look at all this food we got in here. You, you know, got... this, is, this is why we make it so long. That is absolutely a beautiful trout. Now, is that a typical size for a brown trout? It looks like, I mean, it looks pretty big. Yeah, well, this year they've been running a little bit bigger. Okay. No, um, that fish is all spawned out, right? Yep. You can like see the grease out. in the belly. And you can right see how it's got bed. a big, big line in its belly there. Right. Because it was swelled up before. And when it, they spit their eggs out, everything contracts. So you can see that line, just like the walleyes when they spawn out. Right, let's keep going. Let's get some more. You said the bite was going to be later. Why did we get up so early this morning? So Larry's got a fish, I'm in a kayak, I got to pedal all the way over there, be back in a minute. Alright, beautiful brown. Oh, 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 oh. It's worth it, isn't it Larry? It is definitely well He's all wrapped up though. Look at they're rolling, yep, rolling like crazy. It's all wrapped up. Oh, there he is. Yep. Grab yep. the back fin. Grab, Grab the, back, the back fin. Grab the back fin. You know what? We've got a new sponsor, a net sponsor, Beckman Nets. And what a nice light net. It is. You gotta get me one of these, Lair. You got it, buddy. Oh, holy cats. Oh, they fight good, they eh? They are, they're fighting machines. They are, that's a can too. Oh, let me turn them a little bit more. Get them, get them, get them, get them, get them, get them. Get them, get them, get them. Nice job. Woo! All right! Yeah! You gotta love it. Boy, he was not getting off. It's nope. amazing. Why do you think that they crushed that crankbait so? So hard. I'll let you hold your own. Well, hold fish. them up. Hold them. Um, I think what it is 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 uh these fish are spawning. Yep. Get a hold of them here. He's lively. They're they're spawning right now and they're laying their eggs. Yep. And I think you know a lot of guys use spawn for these trout, and I believe that these minnows being around, the fish think that the minnows are eating their eggs. So they just when it comes by, they want to kill it. Exactly. And we haven't had a lot of bites today. It's been a little slow, but when they hit it today. That minnow bait's been swallowed. Yeah, that's that's so, very unique. Yep, exactly. I always start out catching browns first because this is the first part of the river to open up. And you know, looking through a hole all winter, I can't wait to get out in a boat 
and these are fun to catch. This is not fun. They do they strike and fight. It's a blast. It is, and I'll tell you, it's pretty cool when you can slide your boat up against across the ice and to get it out here. Um, very interesting. You know, it'll probably be another couple days before the boat landings are open where you can actually back a trailer down and get a little bit bigger boat out here. But you've been fishing the brown trout now for about a week already, huh? Yep, yep, and we've been doing pretty good. Today's been a little slower than that it's been. But like I said, it's worth, you know, it's beautiful out here today. Getting some sun, nice outside, and getting some good bites. You don't have to have our gloves on. I'm loving this exactly, for sure. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Hey, and I love fishing with you. This is a great time. We always have fun. That's we, the thing. And that's what it's all about right there. All right, Brian, I'll tell you what. Hey, stay tuned. Let's see what happens next up here on the Menominee River fishing with our good friend, Brian Claremont. Awesome. Number two. Okay, now I just broke off and basically Brian's got these all pre-tied. He's got about a foot and a half chunk of lead core tied into some mono, 15 pound test fluorocarbon, fluorocarbon okay. And uh, it's got a swivel on the end. I've got a uh, 10 pound test fire line on here, or power pro. I always use that Palomar when I tie this too. I just don't want it to slip. Wet it down a little bit. Go back through. Okay, come around. I use plenty of line, especially because my eyes aren't quite as good as they used to be. And I'm in a hurry to try to get this rig tied oh. in because right now it's tied one to one. Snag. Oh, and they're biting. Keep your snag. Fish! Oh, you you can't hey, I tell you what. That we were just tied. We just had one in the back right here. <laughs> Hunter was actually holding on to the rod as I was tying my rig up. He thought he was snake. Sorry, Hunter. That was but crazy. I'm the host hey, of the that show. Was cool. That was cool. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you. You know, it's very, it's funny. We spent about four hours without even a bite, not even a bump. And now all of a sudden, in the last, it's on. Yep, in the last probably 45 minutes, um, nice we, each, nice we each caught one and, and I just lost one. And pushed. Nice but there you go. Nice meal. Nice Woo. meal. Nice hook. <laughs> yeah. Hot snake. Look at, and that's a color that we haven't been using. I tied that on before, and I thought, oh, I'm gonna. They weren't biting on anything before. Right. And you're putting that hook, that hook there, so watch it. So okay. It might, yep. It might break off. Okay. Here, I'm coming in. Do I net him? Yep. Net him. Nice job. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. I love it. You know, I. That's one thing. Again, I cannot stress enough is that. When you have the confidence, like Brian, you know, he guides for a living, has the confidence that the fish were here, it's just waiting for that window to open up in the, in the window of opportunity and exactly what happened. Most people that we saw that were out here this morning, they all went home, gave all up. the shore guys went home, gave up, but we stuck with it and hey, I'll tell you what, it's really paid off. It's the reward. It is the reward. The reward. Cool, cool. All right, let's get this fish in. Oh, nice fish in there. That was cool. That was very cool. Gotta love it. Well, sorry for the interruption on tying the rig, but we <laughs> caught another fish, so another nice brown trout. Anyways, going back to the rig that we're using today, uh, 10 pound test Power Pro. And what we're doing here is that Brian has actually got a chunk of lead core in here. He started doing this a few years ago, and it's amazing the difference that it makes. He's got about a foot and a half chunk of lead core onto a swivel here. I'll tie this up. Always use a Palomar knot, wetting that knot down. It's about the only knot I know that doesn't slide through when you're using a type of super braid. Now what I'm going to do is he's got also some 15 pound test P-line tied onto here. To put a snap on there and the nice part about using the snap versus um, tying it direct is that you're going to get a lot of that back and forth swing to the bait which is real crucial especially on a tough bite now what we're using is a, the old-fashioned rapella and uh, floaters 
number 11s. This one I'm putting on here is hot steel. And you know, Brian, every time I come with you, it seems like if it's walleyes, brown trout, you really like the old-fashioned floating repellas, huh? They're hard to beat, Lair. I, I proved it how many times now, so. You have. I've said it a million times. Little things make a big difference. Now what he did is he changed out the front hook and he's got a red hook on there. And again, hey, you can't argue with success. Back in. This week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats in Tigerden, the finest jerky on the planet. You know what, Brian? I'm not an experienced trout fisherman, salmon fisherman, but I have learned quite a bit today, and you've got a really good tip for us. Well, these fish, this time of year when they hit, they like to roll. And what happens is the line all rolls up in them, and it gets frayed. You yeah, I just pulled on that. You said yeah. that, oh, you might want to tie that up. I just touched the line. Boop, it, it busted right off the bat. So you always got to check after you catch a fish. And you lost one before because it was all frayed. We didn't check it. Right. And we lost the fish today. And a lure, $8 and a, lure. Yep, so, yep, yes, and sir. the other part is that you have a tip that on the hooks, you're always, these trout are really hard on the hooks, aren't they? Look at the hooks on that bait. Yes, always keep extra hooks in the box. So when you get all bent up or broken, you just pop another one on. That's this week's tip of the week, again, brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats. And by the way, their new flavor, maple, is awesome. <laughs> that is that is awesome. All right, let's get her back together. <laughs> you know, Brian, I'll tell you what, that fish, all of a sudden I just felt that little kick, then all of a sudden he just absolutely throttled it. I love that when you're pumping that rod, you're almost jigging that lure because you're pumping yep. it so fast. Exactly, it's almost like jigging floaters. Yep. It's that big? Yep, 30 incher. Here's a 30. Come on, this is a pig. It feels like a pig, I'll this tell you that. This is a one. pig, my friend. Wait till you see this fish. Look at this fish. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that fish. <laughs> look at the size Boy, of that it's fish. It's got that bait just absolutely. Oh, look at the size of that the fish. power, too. You know, look Brian, the size of what that an fish. awesome day. You know what? Wow. Most of these people don't realize how I met you. You know what, I met, I used to drive for Domino's National Commissary and I would deliver the food into, into the Domino stores. And that's how I met Brian like 25 years ago. And I was a delivery driver. He was a delivery and guy. we became Ooh. friends and we've been friends ever since. Yes, we have. We gotta land this one. Look what at the a size great of that friendship fish. that is. Look at this, that, boy, that, is that a male too? Yep, looks like a male. It's Brian, he's got that bait way in yep. there. And that's why I'm saying. Look at the way they. They think we're eating their eggs and they come up. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> Wow, Larry! That's a, that, is a, that is a that is a pig, fish. beautiful fish. That is a pig. I'm gonna pull move that over. bag out of the way there and pull okay. him up that way. I'm gonna get you to play with this one. Leaders on. Oh my! Look at that. That's got to be 15 pounds. That that's the biggest brown trout that's I've ever caught. Bob. Look at that. That is absolutely just a. Awesome, awesome fish. I love you, brother. I love you, man. This is awesome. This is what it's all about. Creating memories, and that's the part I love about the outdoors, is that there is no other memories that are better than spending time with your friends and family and enjoying the outdoors. It's the healthiest environment there is. Absolutely. Wow. It don't get much better than this. It though, certainly does. It? Shotgun Steve Schaefer in the kitchen here. I'm making a recipe that Julie Smith used to make us because Larry, when we eat burgers every week guiding, it stinks after a while. You got to have something else. So she would used to make us hard boiled eggs with bacon, eggs, stir it up, put it on toast. I mean, it's simple, easy peasy, but man, it's good. So what we do, I just take it and cut it up a little bit. Make sure you get all the shells off it too. Oops, that's no good. Throw it in there, one more. It's the best right here, apple country bacon. Chop it up real fine. Put a little good onion in there. Chop that up fine, because if the kids are eating, a lot of kids don't like onion. If you hide it real good and cut it up fine, then they don't know nothing. And here's another hint, guys and girls. Use real mayonnaise. You can use the fake stuff. 
not as good. Mash everything all up. So this is fast. I mean, I'm looking at right now less than two minutes. It takes longer to boil the eggs. How does that look, folks? Slap the goodness in between. Don't be shy, neither. Pile it up high. Put the bread on top. Take our knife. That's the joy right there, folks. It's better than eating a burger seven days a week on the ice every once in a while. Egg salad sandwich, Julie Smith style. Thanks, Julie, for the recipe. Hey, I'll tell you what, Brian. We definitely had to work hard for these fish today. Ended up with four really nice brown trout, which was more than well worth coming up here. You know, the fish we got were all quality. Is that typical to see brown trout of this size? Um, this year they've been running a little bit bigger. You know, usually we get a few smaller ones, but like I said, this isn't numbers game. This is getting some nice fish and, and it's fun. It was a lot of fun. I'll tell you, we went, like I said, about four hours without even a bite. But I'll tell you, we had about, maybe about, what, an hour and a half window where these fish really came on strong. It was, you caught the first one and then bing, bing, bing after that, you know, the next three came and we lost two more. So that's actually not too bad of a day, if you think about it. No, not too bad. Um, we've had better days, but, you know, you just got to keep at it and, and we got a reward. You know, I and again, I think it's the little things that you were doing that made a big difference from catching, you know, four really nice brown trout versus catching nothing. So little things make a big difference. And you know, little things really do make a big difference, but having a good friend and good friendship and you good betcha, camaraderie friend. in the boat is what it's all about. And thanks everybody for joining us this week. And make sure you guys check us out on our social media sites, Facebook and our website, Larry Smith Outdoors. And remember, what a great day, day to, to be, be alive. alive. Have you been in one of these before? No. Well, <laughs> I guess here we go. Hang on. <laughs> Woo. Larry, I'm stuck. Hey, you know what really surprises me? What's that? Brian Claremont said you're just a smart <laughs> young little kid. <laughs> Punk, right? I, I mean, you seem like the nicest guy in the world to me, right? I don't know why right. Brian would ever say that, right? He's nervous. Him. He's scared, Tyson. Look at him <laughs> shaking in his boots. It's a lot of fun. Don't mind uh, if you drown today that I give uh, uh, your girlfriend away, do you? I guess. Right? You're in good hands at Allstate Hunter. Our insurance guy's in the car behind you. Liability. Yeah, you good to go. I tell you what, this is kind of unbelievable what you do to catch some fish. Larry sticks me in the kayak. He doesn't tell me I'm going to be in a kayak, so I'm dressed in my ice fishing gear. I gotta pedal around this kayak all day behind the boat while they got a trolling motor on the back. I'm gonna be sweating through all my clothes just to catch a few trout. I guess it's a great day to be alive. Hey, you gonna share that? <laughs> Tell you what, this is an operation. The kayak and the boat. Oh, and the camera. It's not easy to film. Make sure you what? clean that one. How are you doing today? Good. Hey, it's always nice when we come into the landing here and we have our own personal guy and waiters to grab the boat and bring it 